Mortal Kombat, or more accurately, should I say, Immortal Kombat. The first game that allowed me to pull a still beating heart straight out of someone's chest, rip someone's spine out of their back, or turn into a freaking dragon. We got a new game coming out with new characters, new DLC characters, redesigned old characters, new fatalities, new brutalities, and with over 80 characters already in the MK universe, Chris and I decided that now would be a good time for us to rank all the fighters. Here's the list of rules that we set for ourselves to make these rankings. Number one, each fighter will be presented as they were in their original debut, meaning if they become someone else or something else at some point, then that will be two entries. For example, Bihan Sub-Zero and Noob Saibot, along with Sub-Zero versus Cyber Sub-Zero, will all be separate entries. The movies will not be a part of this list. Fuck Cole Young. Fuck the producers for putting him in the movie. Fuck Arcana. Fuck all this bullshit that they put in this movie. It's a Mortal Kombat movie. We knew there was going to be fireballs. We wanted fireballs. Zoom we never like, explain fireballs like. to us. Calm down. Calm sorry, down. Sorry. Sorry. Number three. This list, of course, is nothing official. It's a fun project that we wanted to work on together. We used the playability, the lore, power set, personality, design, and moveset of each fighter to come up with our opinions. We'd also love to hear your opinions, though. Hit us up in the comments. Let's keep it friendly, keep it fun, and discuss away. Finally, if you enjoy this type of content, please like, follow, and subscribe. Turn your notifications on. Ring that bell. We appreciate all your guys' support over the years, and we can't wait to keep pumping out new videos for you on this Mortal Kombat content. We are in the top 50 Mortal Kombat characters and starting off number at number 50, Sindel. Introduced in Mortal Kombat 3, given a big power boost in the MK9 reboot. She's been a kind of an important character and a mainstay since her introduction. She's the mother of Katana. She's the reason Shao Kahn was able to uh, come into Earthrealm earlier, even though they lost Mortal Kombat in the second tournament. She has always had a phenomenal look. Her hair is used as a weapon. Her screen can rip your skin off. One of the best fatalities in any of the games, in my opinion, has been where she screams in someone's face and just melts their skin off their body. They've made that better and better each time they've brought that fatality back. She's always been a cool character. Her designs have been nice. She's basically the, I guess you can call her the mother of the Mortal Kombat world. And uh, it's a pretty accurate description. Number 50, Sindel. Fight. At number 49, we have one of my favorite newer characters to come out of Mortal Kombat. She first appeared in, uh, appeared in Mortal Kombat Deception as the first of Cabal's new recruits for the Black Dragon Clan. I'm talking about Kira. That's right. This raven hair beauty had two knives, daggers that she would plunge into people's chests. Awesome brutalities, awesome fatalities. Loved her power set. Kempo style martial arts really, really put it on everybody. I loved playing as Kira. She was one of my favorites from that game. Um, we had to drop her down in this list because her later interpretations really didn't change much. They basically stayed the same as what she was in Deception. Kira hasn't had the long standing reputation that a lot of other characters had, and that's why she falls so long on this list. But I will say she's a gem at number 49. So a few spots back, number 52, I talked about Kintaro and how they really didn't come up with a creative way to make the sub boss for Mortal Kombat 1 better for Mortal Kombat 2. Well, they absolutely hit it out of the park. The Mortal Kombat 1 boss, the main boss, was an old dude named Shang Tsung. And in order to make someone more menacing, to make a better big bad, they came up with Shao Kahn from Mortal Kombat 2. He's number 48. I know you're probably a little upset that he's so far down on the list, but that just goes to show you how much cooler a lot of other characters were and have been throughout the series. Shao Kahn comes with a giant hammer, one of the first characters to taunt the shit out of you as you kept getting your ass handed to you. He was immune to a lot of special moves. He would laugh in your face. I mean, this is the reason why a lot of people broke their controllers way back in the day. We, I spent hours in the arcade putting quarters down trying to figure out how to fight this guy i mean obviously like every other sub boss he found a few tricks and they worked he also has one of my absolute fantastic fatalities in all of mortal kombat 
in the MK9 reboot. He's I think it's called Here's Johnny, where he basically slams his hands through you, rips you open, and walks right through your body. It's brutal. It's exactly what something he would do. Phenomenal character. Number 48, Shao Kahn. Next on the list, at number 47, we have one of the OGs, our first character from Mortal Kombat 1, Sonya Blade. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. The femme fatale from the first game finally makes her appearance at this number because basically throughout all of Mortal Kombat, as cool as Sonya's looked and as good as her backstory has been, she has been on the weaker side of all of the characters. Doesn't really pack a big punch. You have to hit a lot of multiple hit combos. Her power set was always kind of like weak with the with the blowing of the kiss and the little bubble bomb and everything like that. She's had some cool fatalities. A lot of kicking people in the nuts. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. But Sonya, when compared to the rest of the MK, especially the MK1 cast, is, in our opinion, the weakest of the bunch. Love her to death, but she's got to drop down at number 47, Sonya Blade. Coming into the list at number 46 is Kung Jin. He's the nephew of Kung Lao, and uh, he ba- he also fights for the White Lotus Society. He basically had some issues with the Thunder God, thinking that Raiden was the reason Kung Lao died. But after meeting Raiden and realizing Raiden was a cool dude, he basically became a good guy. He's got the brashness of Kung Lao. He uses projectile weapons. He's one. He's the only character in any of the games that uses a bow and arrow as his main weapon. He's also the big thing for MKX was he's the first LGBTQ fighter introduced into the fighting lore, as far as we know, anyway. Who knows if someone else will come out. Um, he always had a cool move set. I feel like it's a shame that he was introduced in MKX and then never brought back. He only cameoed in MK11. I hope they bring him back. He had a good dynamic with Jackie Rig- uh, Briggs, with Cassie Cage. He seemed like a decent uh, character to bring into the group, and he could be more important. But unfortunately, they kind of just left him alone for Mortal Kombat 11. Who knows if we'll get him in Mortal Kombat 1. He did have what uh, was a good fatality, in my opinion, where he shoots the three arrows and basically gets your, your head and your hands, and then it drops into the ground. It's got a cool pose afterwards. One of the better characters in the new creations for MKX, Kung Jin at number 46. Here we are coming in at number 45 with a very complicated and convoluted character, Cyber Sub-Zero. That's right, in the second to- in the second timeline of Mortal Kombat, Raiden saves Smoke, but Ling Quang winds up becoming Sub-Zero as a robot for some reason. <laughs> the reason why this, this cyborg honestly jump so high up on our list is because he is still Sub-Zero and who doesn't love Sub-Zero um, but at the end of the day he's further down the list because he is a robotic version of him that no one ever asked for he shoots ice balls out of his chest he's got all of Sub-Zero's powers without the coolness of being a ninja instead he's some sort of weird cyborg that we didn't ask for thanks Mortal Kombat for doing this to us yet again at number 45, Cyber Sub-Zero. Moving on to number 44 on the list, we have one of my personal favorite characters uh, in the new newest Mortal Kombat 11 DLC, the Aftermath expansion, is Fujin, Raiden's little brother, coming in at number 44. He's the god of wind, essentially. I love his look, especially in the new game. I always liked the kind of wind powers he had. In the new game, they gave him a plasma crossbow, which is just pretty badass. Um, it was always cool to see Fujin as another god that was playable. He actually made his debut in the Mortal Kombat Mythology Sub-Zero game as a boss character. And in Mortal Kombat 4, they brought him into the actual mix as a playable fighter. He wasn't that great in Mortal Kombat 4, but he was another god that you could play as. We never got that before. We only ever got to play as Raiden. And I guess Shang Tsung, if you consider him a god. But they gave him a redesign in the MK11 Aftermath DLC, and I love the way he looks. I love his moveset. He's got some phenomenal combos and really some cool-ass fatalities. Fujin at number 44. Coming in at number 43, we have the Prince of the Shokan and former champion of Mortal Kombat himself, the Forearm Behemoth. We're talking about Goro. 
Prince Goro himself, the big bad from the early MK games. He first made his appearance in Mortal Kombat as a sub-boss and then was playable in Mortal Kombat Trilogy. Goro is by far one of the coolest bosses we've ever had in Mortal Kombat. He's got four arms. He's built like Arnold Schwarzenegger. The guy's nine feet tall. He's got a pile driver that he uses. He picks guys up and punches him with his lower arms. The fatalities that this guy has had over the years have been some of the most gruesome things we've ever seen. Ripping guys' limbs off with all four of his arms. The, 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 what more can you say about Prince Goro? He is he is the boss that you want in, in Mortal Kombat. When you really think about Mortal Kombat bosses, he's the first one that comes to name. He comes to the name before Shao Kahn does. I'm sorry, but I'll say it. Goro's better than Shao Kahn. There we go. Number 43, Prince Goro. From one four-armed fighter to another, we are on number 42, Shiva. She was basically Mortal Kombat's answer to all the fans that wanted to play as Goro or Kentaro. They wanted somebody with four arms that could they could dominate with. And instead of just giving us Goro, they designed a character named Shiva, the female Shokan. Now, I think collectively when we all first saw her we were kind of like that's not exactly what we wanted but she was always super fun to play as she was a tough character to beat if you knew what you were doing you could really dominate some fools she had a lot of powerful moves she always had an interesting look to her and they've only improved that as the game's gone on they gave her a better personality now she's a much bigger part of the story and the lore of mortal kombat um she has a couple of cool fatalities one being where she rips the skin off of her opponent originally it was a really weird like oh i'm just gonna grab it and pull down like dancing somebody but in the new game she rips it up rips a person's skin in half off their body kicks the skinless body down she has something another one i think it's called the hammerhead where she basically hits somebody on the top of their head and just kind of dr drives them into the ground she's always been awesome the the stomp the yard move where she teleports essentially and just lands on you and then stomps on you a few times really a phenomenal character shiva at first, we didn't want you around, but once we started playing as you back in Mortal Kombat 3, we said, all right, you can stick around for the long haul. Number 42, Shiva. At number 41, we have a character that has not been around for a long time, but we are hoping and praying we get to play as him way more. I'm hoping he's in the new game, and I'm talking about Tremor. Tremor is a badass-looking ninja with Earth powers. He has powers to move dirt rocks all types of things he's an earth elemental ninja what is cooler than that he's a member of the black dragon clan played as one of their enforcers was dlc in in mortal kombat x had a cameo in 11 i'm hoping they bring this character back his move set was amazing his his power set was fantastic one of the better looking ninjas that we've gotten and he perfectly adds the ninjas that we already had in Mortal Kombat. You've got Rain, you've got Air Mac, you've got Sub-Zero, you've got Scorpion, Fire, Ice, Water, now you got Earth, you got Soul. It's like Captain Planet of the Ninjas here, baby. We're talking about number 41. That's your man, Tremor. Bring back Tremor. So number 50 to 41, we are in the top 50 of our Mortal Kombat fighters ranking. This was a more fun Halfway through, list baby. to do. I feel like we had, uh, besides maybe Cyber Sub-Zero for you, we enjoyed talking about every single one of these fighters. Absolutely. Absolutely. Cyber Sub-Zero is one of those ones that's like, you know, he made it so high on our list because he's still Sub-Zero. But, right. <laughs> but at the end of the day, he's like the version of Sub-Zero no one wanted. The Sub-Zero name carries him a long way. But, I mean, I mean, listen, if we ever redo this list, Tremor can make his way up into the top ten, I think, if we I get agree. to see more of them. The only reason he's so low is because uh, because of uh, the lack of him being around so, yeah. so far. So I agree. I always like Tremor's look. I like how he's like a kind of a bigger ninja, more of a brute ninja. I do hope we see Fujin some more because I've always liked the character and the idea yeah. of the character. Uh, and think about it. We had Goro and Shiva in this part of the list. We're really getting into the the, the next upcoming lists are fantastic characters. Yes. Yeah, they were very, very, very hard to rank. We're basically, uh, this is halfway through the list. So now we're in the top half and we're in, we're ready to get going. That was 50 through 41, video number four. And we're on to the next group.